Good morning, Gators. Today is Wednesday, October 6th. Welcome to Gator Nation News. I'm Jaden. And I'm Kenneth. Let's go. Come on. How are I you? don't care about your chit chat. Let's go. Jesus. All right. Okay, you get lucky every time. You do the same thing. No, no, I don't. I hate you, whatever. It's okay. All right. The Gators swim team will compete against the Ball High, Texas City, and Crosby this evening at the Matthew T. Doyle Natatorium in Texas City. The meet starts at 5 p.m. and there is no admissions fees. Come and support your Gators. Tomorrow, our Gators take a road trip to Brazoswood. Come out and watch as the Gators cross off another team on the way to the playoffs. This week's theme is pink out, so be sure to wear pink. Seniors, this is our last week for your USA funders. Be sure you are selling those cookies and treats and making that money for prom. Prom is scheduled for April 30th at Moody Gardens, and we need everyone to do their part so that the tickets prices are reasonable. The final cookie dough orders are due this Friday in Mr. Salazar's office or you can submit all your orders online. Seniors are also selling Class of 2020 shirts for $20. Please see Ms. Moore in room N250 if you would like to purchase a senior shirt. You can pay with cash or credit card. It is October, which means Homecoming 2021 will be here before we know it. All groups and organizations should start meeting about the upcoming parade and the school at Carnival to prepare for the festivities. Spirit Week is October 25th through 29th. The homecoming game is that Friday against the Clear Springs. Stay tuned for the theme for Spirit Week and the theme for the homecoming parade. The parade travels from Cranch Junior High to the high school stadium, so all participants will need a trailer or a float to ride on and walk alongside. And the homecoming nominations will begin this Wednesday in Navigator. Well, it already happened, so. Watch for the announcements to kick off homecoming 2021 nominations and voting. The class of 2024 is selling shirts and hoodies to raise their funds for senior year festivity. Shirts are $20 and hoodies are $35, or you can get both for $50. Place your orders using the QR code on screen. Dickinson High School has an official Gamers Club, and it is hosting its first ever esports tournament starting next Monday and Tuesday after school. You think you got what it takes to win? The game that will be played is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and will be held in room J204. The entry fee is $5, and if you lose and want a rematch, it's an additional $2. Pre-registration opens after school on Thursday and Friday in room J204, and will end Friday at 3 p.m. Regular sign-up will be Monday and Tuesday immediately after school, and cutoff for at-the-door sign-up will be 3 p.m. Monday at, and 3.15 on Tuesday. Make sure you come quickly, as there is a 64-player limit for both days. The prize winnings will be announced during the tournament day. For more information, use the QR code on screen. And remember, have fun and game on. The DHS Library is excited to start up the LaCrew again. The LaCrew members have an opportunity to take field trips and presents and various functions attended at Team Book Con, uh, Con and help the librarians organize and raise funds for author's visits. If you are interested in having fun while serving on the Lit Crew community, stop by the library after school on Tuesday, October 12th for a brief introduction meeting. If you have any questions, stop by the library during your lunch time to talk to the librarians. Lots of other student organizations will have a meeting next week as well. On Monday, the National Honor Society will be having a meeting at the dining hall at 2.45. On Tuesday, before and after school, there will be a Mu Alpha Theta meeting in K210. You must attend one of the meetings and don't forget to bring your dues. Also, the National Art Honor Society will have a meeting directly after school on the 12th in E101, Ms. Summerall's room. All dues must be paid by this meeting in order for your membership to remain active. The Salon at College of the Mainland will be having an open house Monday, October 18th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. They have various programs to offer, including cosmetology, barbering, massage therapy, and more. So mark your calendars if you want to check it out. HOSA will be having a blood drive scheduled for October 19th. The sign-up will be held on Monday during lunches in the Gator Mall. You must be at least 16 years old and weigh at least 120 pounds to donate blood. All donors will receive a free t-shirt and snacks. Seniors who donate twice this year will be eligible to receive a red cord for graduation. Remember, one blood donation could save three lives. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube at Gator Nation Media and on Twitter at Gator Nation Live for the latest news and live updates. And if you're a staff member with interesting stories and information you want to include in the Gator Nation news, be sure to send it to our email at gmmedia at 
isd.org. Well, that's all the news for today. We'll see you tomorrow on Gator Nation News. And now for Austin's fun fact of the day. Here's the fun fact of the day. According to scientists, the average cumulus cloud weighs approximately 500,000 kilograms or 550 tons. That's one million pounds. It's a lot of weight. Where'd you come from? Don't worry about it. That's all for now. I'll see you tomorrow.